Hello, today on my channel we're going to learn how to paint on DX surfaces by using G-Code and MathPo software. So this is a simple pattern I made in the Corel uh, draw and exported to G-Code and after that uploaded into the MathPo software. And uh, using ClearPath Motors I'm, I made a machine uh, to paint uh, to basically uh, a free access CNC uh, for painting X for the Easter. So uh, stay tuned and we are going to learn everything you need to know in order to make design uh, on the X surface. So let's get started. So first thing you need to note, you need special markers. These are all base markers because egg is moist and um, it will going to dry in two days if you're not going to use um, uh, good, uh, good markers. So, okay, let's just cycle start our program. Um, okay. Uh, Let's go to the top. Okay, so oh, that was fast. Okay, so as you can see, it's painting again. Um, so let's talk about it. Um, I have here. I have uh, emergency stop, and this is enable. At the bottom, I have a clear path uh, Ethernet smooth stepper uh, that is controlling by uh, Mach 4 software. Uh, here I have two, two uh, clear path servos. Uh, this is responsible for uh, uh, rotation, and this is for uh, marker uh, rotation. Uh, I have a support that is spring-loaded. Of course, you need to add uh, some kind of bearing because uh, egg will going to slip even if you have uh, quite a good uh, uh, traction between uh, egg and this holder. It will be still going to slip. Uh, so I added a, a, a bearing, a ball bearing. And you can see the precision of this machine. It's very good. It, it, it's followed the marker exactly. Uh, here I have, uh, for uh, f to engage painting, I have a uh, simple solenoid located in, in, in here. It will actuate a uh, lever uh, that will uh, basically engage and disengage painting. Uh, so idea is uh, that stm 32 f 4 takes step and their data. A step is connected to the interrupt and uh, it will at the interrupt routine it will check there. If it, there is, is one it, it will engage painting and basically that's it. And this will basically cut power to microprocessor. And um, yeah, it's nothing very, it's nothing uh, too hard to make, but you need to have uh, parts. I just have some some wood, some some feet, uh, and um, I have also one kilowatt power supply for servos. And this power supply is responsible for power for uh, Ethernet smooth stepper and and solenoid and uh, stm 2 f 4 ARM processor. And okay, so let's go to the MAFPO uh, to see how it's configured and how to. Uh, how to uh, calibrate a machine in order to get uh, uh, designs like this. So let's get started. Step one is to configure Mac for software. So we're going to configure Mac. Now uh, put machine setup units into metric, uh, put unit mode into metric. Now motors. Uh, I know that in order to paint a uh, correct looking square, I need to have a 20 by 7. Now, uh, uh, 20 uh, units uh, give me one egg rotation. So, my servos are 6400 uh, counts per revolution. In order to get 20 units per one rotation egg, I simply divide by 6400 by 20 and get this number. And uh, motor uh, 1 is responsible for, for y. And uh, this number you have to tune it. So, the square looks like square. If a square is uh, too, uh, too, too large, uh, decrease this number. And if it's too uh, too small, increase this number, and that's it. And apply. Okay. Now uh, we are going to uh, load some simple G code uh, to to paint a square. Uh, not this one. Load square. Now this will paint a square. Basically, it's good from the uh, to the bottom left corner, and we'll go around, and we're going to lift up. That's it. So let's enable our machine machine is enabled and we can cycle start okay one two three four all corners will lift up and go to center now if a square looks like it looks right like x and y directions are the same you, we can proceed to the next uh, step if not we have to tune it uh, y motor and that's it okay so let's go to the next step so this is a step two. We're going to create a vector image. So go to new 20 by 7. Uh, let's add some grid. 
uh, snap to the dock basically everything and after that we go into settings and make a grid 2 by 2 2 millimeters 2 lines per millimeter that will make it easier okay now uh, we need to uh, paint two lines on the on the top and the bottom this will help us to know if our chicle generator are uh, correct because sometimes uh, y y scale factor can be not one so if scalar factor is uh, one you usually you get rid out uh, uh, of your uh, image area or working area so if it's 20 by 7 in the uh, uh, cam program it's okay so we have two lines uh, and we want to create some kind of pattern um, so let's do that let's go to the circle let's make it uh, one by one and uh, let's make a hairline um, after that we're going to cut it a bit so 180 degrees okay like this we're going to put it in here um, like this this okay and just copy multiple times it should auto scale okay now let's make take more of them to make it faster okay okay and we'll copy that and put it on the bottom like this and invert an axis in this direction and place it in here we're going 7.5 I think 7.25 I don't know no we need to go just a tiny bit higher okay going from that I hate when it happens. Eh, close enough. So we have, and now we just add some lines like this. And we are going to select this and this, and we're going to copy and and make pattern that looks like this okay spacing is one it's not the best looking pattern but it's complex enough and after that we will use K and G code generators of Mara F and Grave to produce uh, G code okay so this is our design it looks quite right uh, let's go to save us and let's go to the this file format title that's okay Okay, and after that we're going to F and Grave. Now let's to configure. Uh, let's configure F and Grave. General settings. Let's go to the millimeters. Recalculate. Close now. File. Uh, open. Open desktop. Titled. Okay. Now we have the pattern. Now look. This distance is not okay. Width and height, uh, because we want seven, and we want to make a line small so yeah so as you can see now we know that uh, distance is correct and we can export this to the now let's make a uh, z one and cutting depth minus one and feed rate uh, let's go 100 
I calculate and go to the file, save decode file, entitled tab file. And test, let's call it test. And go to desktop and save. Now let's go to Mach, um, uh, load and test. Yep, it looks quite, quite right and we can basically start plating. And now my machine is plating uh, two lines and after that it will go to the, this mode. So let's go to the live view to see how it looks in real world. Whoa, that's nice. Now that's an, an efficient, uh, an efficient uh, G-code generator. I very, very well like that. Oh, that's just nice. Okay, let's go to the camera. A lot of hearts. Oh, I would say it's quite good and good looking. somehow feed rate needs to be slowed down for the arcs because they look a bit on the side but lines work just fine and we're gonna get a pattern match error on the zero mark let's see well it is just a tiny bit of error and oh it does still something Ah, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't touch the X surface, which is supposed to be that line for referencing. But as you can see, egg is painting just fine. So let's see it. Let's zoom in. I will disable drive and I'll rotate it. And as you can see, design works and looks quite good. Of course, to me, <laughs> you should paint the uh, uh, egg uh, first to get at least some kind of color, background color. And if you have uh, more markers like I do, you can make uh, um, lines of other colors. So thank you for watching. I hope you, <laughs> if you have uh, time and, uh, and servos, uh, you can give a try. And it was a hard thing to build, but in it, it, it was my first CNC experience. And yeah. <clears throat> and X like these and like this it's and now because I have G code I can uh, paint uh, this uh, type of design for a lot many eggs in a row so no, no correction is needed so I will create a few uh, few designs and I will paint them paint them on the eggs surface using this 
uh, clear path controlled uh, uh, basically egg, egg, egg bot uh, type device so thank you for watching I hope you learned something today um, I, I think I learned a lot and uh, see you next time bye